Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna be looking at season one of Jessica Jones. You a PI? I'm just trying to make a living. You know, booze costs money, usually. Well, this show blew me away. Now I know I'm super late. I mean, it's 2016 and this show came out in 2015, but I've had it on my Netflix list for a long time. I just haven't had time to get to it, so my bad for that. I wasn't really expecting a lot from this show, actually. Maybe that's why I didn't watch it when I wanted to, but after watching it, I'm like, man, it blew my expectations away. Like, this show might be even up there with Luke Cage, or even better than Luke Cage, in my opinion. So Jessica Jones, played by Kristen Ritter, is a private investigator who works for clients' cases, you know, digging up dirt on some people that they need, you know, helping with, like, you know, some people might cheat on the client, and so they need dirt digged up on them for some reason, you know. She's a Marvel hero, or kind of like an anti-hero, because she doesn't really portray those features. She's always, like, cursing and like drinking and treating people bad but she always does it with a good heart or she does it what she thinks is right what surprised me was that this show wasn't really about a superhero it was more about this person who went through hell with this villain named Kilgrave. i mean yeah you get to see her super strength and her super like jumping abilities she used to fly but something happened i guess and she forgot or she was just under this guy's mind control that she completely forgot how to do that but you do get to see her kick some ass in this show along with luke cage as well this show is kind of messed up in a way if you think about it i mean this girl is put under this guy's control for a long time and she's kind of like a slave to him or and almost like a and pretty much a rape victim so it's kind of messed up when you watch it watch it and you understand more of the psychology behind this show because you go through a lot of the experiences that she went through when she met Kilgrave. but after this long time as they, they were talking about you know she's been gone for like eight months and you know she's drinking because she feels like nobody missed her and stuff like that and then out of the blue this guy killed grape decides to show up in her life again and guess what she doesn't like it and she wants to get rid of him as soon as possible and like a lot of things happen where he's controlling people and he makes them do things against their will and jessica intervenes with that because she was under that control at one point and she really doesn't like that so she's trying to help those people by putting him away now Kilgrave, honestly in the show kills it he literally became a favorite villain out of like everybody like he's well i wouldn't say up there with Heath Ledger from the joker but you know he's he's around there like he was so good and that's all thanks to david tennant his performance in this show was outstanding like there was not a minute in this show where i did not like him or like i was bored by him like every single scene he was in like i wanted more i wanted more of this guy every single time like every time it ended i was kind of sad but you know you can't just focus on one person his power of course is mind control he controls people for the wrong reasons of course but he has like this cool swag about him he's always wearing like this purple like suit and stuff like that nice shoes and he's like always strolling around the city like he owns the place or something kill gray's purpose in this show is literally to make jessica jones life hell and he delivers now the interesting part is we get a look at Jessica Jones passed through flashbacks and stuff like that but you also do get to see what happened to Kilgrave and why he is the way he is you know why he's so evil and crazy in a way now along with Kilgrave and Jessica Jones you do get an amazing supporting cast everybody in this show was just amazing like I don't think I had any issues with a lot of the characters like there were maybe like one of the, the neighbors from the upstairs she was a little bit crazy but you know i think she served her purpose for the show she has this friend trish who's like a popular celebrity when she was like a kid that helps her a lot and you know tries to help her with money and she comes back into her life or actually jessica jones goes back into her life because jessica went missing so she felt like she needed help after Kilgrave showed up to at her doorstep one character that really impressed me actually wasn't jessica jones or Kilgrave, but the neighbor malcolm like he was really good like you know he he was controlled by Kilgrave as well and he portrayed it very very like well like you went through his pain like he Kilgrave pretty much put him through hell and I mean I'm not trying to spoil what happens but like you know he goes through like a phase so dramatic and quickly like everything moves so fast for Malcolm in the show and you get to experience how those transitions go go along the show and you feel like almost like attached to him because he looks so miserable in the beginning of the show and you can't help, help but feel bad for the guy. This show is more of a psychological battle because Jessica Jones is trying to erase her past and Kilgrave just won't go away. Like he knows how to play games and tricks just in case, you know, somebody gets close to him and he just, you know, 
runs away or gets away like in the craziest fashion the way he fixes his issues is by pretty much just killing anybody in his way like i mean this show is so gory like the people the way the way people die in this show is insane so if you guys like gore then this show has it for you guys you do get a lot of intimate scenes i would say between some of the characters in the show so if you're like randomly watching this in your flat screen like out loud and somebody catches you from behind or something like that then they might get well, awkward so just a heads up on that and especially if you're like trying to watch it with like your younger son or kids you know don't, don't watch it with them it's just going to be awkward the first two three episodes gets pretty intense as this show was amazing like i can't get over it i was kind of sad that it was over because you know now i gotta wait for jessica jones season two to come up and i know they gonna think they're gonna have like an all-female directors and like i know some people were like going crazy because of that idea but i think that you know it might work you know if they did good on the first season then you know i don't think they can mess up anything on the second season i think it's gonna be great the ending is kind of anticlimactic because i mean you have a guy that has mind controlling powers and you have someone that has super like super strength so you know how do you get those two to fight <laughs> that's like that's a weird thing you know it's kind of hard to work your way around it but you know the way the season builds up to the end, it, it does justice for it. So, you know, you can't really take away from that. That's just a little nitpick that I have. But, you know, overall, it does really well. Now, another thing was uh, this guy Simpson. He gets introduced. He's like a cop slash, like, lover for someone in the show. And some of the episodes, like, focused a little too much on him. You know, I feel like they were trying to do that in order to set him up for season two, which I think he might, you know, become the big bad person in the second season but i don't know yet like can we get kilgrave instead of simpson more like i would watch an entire show if it was just about kilgrave's life like because he's such an asshole but he's so good like there was one scene where he was like strolling down some park and he was being followed by someone and what he does like there's this guy in a coffee stand just standing minding his own business he walks by he's like you grab that coffee throw it in your face he's like Trish. and i was just like that's awesome like i like him like just by him doing that it was freaking hilarious Kristen Ritter amazing Kilgrave of course amazing everybody in this show was pretty good like I'm not I can't complain like I don't think I have any complaints against the show I want to see more of this I want to see the second season already Luke Cage definitely deserved his own show which he did and was amazing I don't know much about Jessica Jones I'd never really read her comics all I know is that she used to like fly and has super strength and I think her superhero name was Jules but this show does do it justice for it and I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5 stars all right guys if you guys already watched it which I'm pretty sure you have or not I don't know like if you're like me waited like an entire year to watch it please do like and comment what you guys think of the show or you know what you guys think of my review but until next time guys stay tuned Come on, Jessica. I am the star. Don't play the hero with me.